was an amazing jump. <laughs> what was that all about? Where are you trying to go ahead and adventure into my little red fox? Are you, uh, are you trying to figure, oh, that's so cool. I love how the foxes are jumping over the fox gloves. I don't know why, but that just really tickles me. But hello everyone and welcome. Welcome back to Castle Mire, where we are here with our foxes, our common wombats, and our flying fruit bats as we transform this little village and its mysterious colored waters <laughs> into a place uh, for everybody to really visit and hang out and look at the castle that looks so cool oh i cannot wait until we can build our own castles in our like fairy tale forest that we had started for our modded adventures in planet zoo something tells me the mods are probably broken but we could definitely try diving back in and building up a fairy tale forest there because i think that would be amazing also look at oh look at these trees Oh my gosh, I hadn't noticed how cool the bristlecone pine tree. Wow, I hadn't noticed how cool they look, especially mixed in with the yews. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at this path. Okay, yeah, this is this is absolutely fantastic, and it looks like there's plenty of room to expand as time goes on. And a rumor has it that we are going to be wanting to think about expansions. Oh wow, that actually looks really, really amazing. All right, I think if I'm going to be taking away any lessons from Castle Myers, it is going to be the fact that you just may want to make sure that your entrances are this absolutely amazing because this is so cool. All right, but let's see. So we are actually going to want to think about expanding in the future as we continue to work through all of the different projects we need to take on, including making sure that we have three different habitat animals in the zoo, as well as our Egyptian fruit bats, which I'm pretty excited we added in. And then in the future, we're even going to be <gasps> working on Himalayan brown bears and Francesca is expecting. Oh my gosh. And she is due in January. Okay. Okay. We've got to get her more toys. And to get her more toys means that we have to have a research center. So let's see, where are we gonna put this research center? I kind of want the staff to be able to access it pretty easily. And I like the idea that you learn more about foxes if you kind of live close to them. So is there some way I can slip it into this building somehow? Oh, I can! Okay, so I know this is a little odd, but I want to go ahead and slip the research building in. Can I get just the door out, maybe? Kind of. I could do that. I might just make it like a little hidden path like this. Alright, that would clash with the other one. Yeah, I might do this. And then... um just hide the research building kind of inside like that all right maybe i need to go ahead here we're gonna we're gonna try that again all right hang on so quarantine vet surgery hopefully we won't need a vet surgery anytime soon um not guest facilities staff facilities research center and we'll grab this and there is our scientist aka our vet meandering about the place Aha, and that, yeah, that's what we need to do. Just a little more up. And will the path connect? I think I like kind of, kind of freaked it out a little. But we'll put that there. And that there, there we go. So I, I like to do that, even though the building is like now blocked off. Oh, look, it's like right coupled up. There's even a hidden door inside. Okay, having like hidden doors and fake, oh, think about how perfect having fake walls actually is in this particular place. Because we could go up to the castle and we could add a bunch of like fake walls, like illusionary walls into the castle that people could just walk through and it, they could like find the bathroom room and they could find places to shop because that totally fits the whole vibe of this place also i don't think we want people walking down here because it's going to make them cranky pants so we're going to put this yeah sorry friends no 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 walkies you're going to get all mad at me about like 
the fact that, oh no, you can actually see where we have to actually get food for the animals. I can't believe guests don't like to see that. Like, I, I regularly pay additional money to see that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Francesca's having her offspring right now? How did time move by so fast? I haven't even gotten toys for the baby foxes yet. Francesca! Oh, any minute now, huh? Okay, I'm gonna need to pull up some of your guys' names from the comments of our previous videos because you guys are gonna end up becoming one of these little fox cubs. I mean, if she ever wakes up, she's pretty, she's pretty darn content inside of the den at the moment. Hi, Francesca. Okay, so she's asleep right now, but that's gonna give us a chance to come over and to start doing some serious work in the zoo, including our vet research with Plague Doctor Renee. All right, let's start getting some red fox research done. And then let's also try to start getting more money from the people who are visiting by making sure that we have the donation bins appropriately placed. They've only donated $20. <laughs> you absolute, like, you absolute skin flints. Uh, also, it looks like we need to put some trash pans down. Oh no, Linda the Common Wombat ate guest food? <gasps> you jerks! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We can't have that! Plague Dr. Rene might have an outbreak of, like, wombat plague we'd have to worry about. Alright, where's my security cameras? Like, security? No feeding the animals! Unless you want to lose fingers. Wombats probably aren't going to bite your fingers off, but I hope that's going to scare you guys into behaving. Alright, so there's that. I think Francesca is like, I'm just asleep today. I don't know what you want out of me, but I'm just asleep. And then uh, I'm noticing a ton of guests. I think litter is a problem, was it saying? Linda has eaten guest food. I thought I saw that litter was a problem, but I think we'll be okay. And Plague Doctor Renee is conducting that research on the foxes. Yes! Um, all right. Well, people are walking around with trash now. I remember seeing that litter was an issue, so I just wanted to be careful. All right, so bins do- I guess there's no new bins with- Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any new bins with this new pack. Um, so we'll just have- I could have sworn I had like cuter bins than this. I guess I need that mechanic research, huh? All right. So I'll put that down. I want to see, I want to see the adorable baby fox cubs, but it's also really dark here. So maybe this is a sign I need to get more light. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at how cool all of these things are. I love this. Wow. Look at this gate. Yeah, I, I absolutely would just like put this gate down in multiple spots so that people have to walk through it a few times. That's so cool. All right, I need to stop spending that much money though because as cool as it is to have the lights like this, it is very expensive. Um, how are our fruit bats doing? Look at them fly around, that is so cool. All right, I'm gonna take these couple of rocks down. Oh, look at that. Wouldn't you just love to be able to experience this? But guests aren't donating like anything while they're in here. I think that's- oh, Francesca's had her offspring! Go, 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 go! Did she seriously have her babies inside the burrow? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, there's so many! You guys, look at all of the little fox cubs! I don't think I've ever seen so many of them in a burrow like this before. This is fantastic! Welcome, little ones! Alright, so now we have... Do we have an exterior fox cub just yet? We'll have to check it out. And we'll have to figure out ways to get more money from people. Is that... <gasps> There's one of the fox cubs! Oh my gosh, welcome, welcome! But they need a little more space now, they feel. Welcome to baby Tia, who is going to be renamed to Equestrian. After Equestrian World Tour. And Equestrian, thank you so much for reminding me. Whoops, let's see. There we go. 
Thank you so much for reminding me how to go ahead and turn on my flashlight. Oh my gosh, this is very bright. I hope it's not going to scare the fox cubs. Oh, but look at how cute they are. This is so exciting. And now we're gonna have little Liv. Liv, I'm so glad that you're excited about all of the adventures we're about to have with our fox cubs and also very excited that you're a gold quality fox kit. Oh my gosh. Uh, or cub, depending on what you want to use. And then Danny is still hiding down inside of the den, but she is going to get her brand new name of Pink, after Pink Flamingo. There we go. And also another gold quality red fox cub. That's fantastic. I think the babies are probably going to get lots and lots of attention from their parents. Also, I love that I have this light. <laughs> Thank you so much, Equestrian, for reminding me how to use it, because this place is dark quite often. All right, so are we getting a few more donations now? $19? 19? <laughs> that's not really going to help us with this, but that's probably because these guests just don't know what's good for them. And also, like, they're not getting a lot of education. So, can I get any... Ugh. Like, I can't even get any of the fancy education stations. Because I need to unlock so much stuff mechanic research-wise. <sighs> Such is life. Well, let's at least start with, um, we'll start with the conservation boards because they're cheap, they're easy. And then, ooh, the vet research is complete. Maybe we can get new toys for our beloved foxes. Wait, no, the conservation boards aren't what I'm thinking about. Gosh darn it. I mean, they're useful, but they're not gonna tell us info about the actual animals. I need the habitat education boards for that. Man, this one's always so boring. Is it really the only one I can do right now? I'm triple checking. We can have talk point railing. And actually, I think I can go ahead and sort. You can sort by like, if it's unlocked or not, right? Nope, <laughs> that's a filter I made that I never quite fixed. All right, let's see. <gasps> the fruit bats are having babies. Yes, I want to see baby fruit bats. I'm a thousand percent here for this. I just had to like triple check that there's... Okay, this is why we need a mechanic because otherwise we're going to have the most boring habitat signs ever. And then let's also get the education speakers in. And I'm just going to hide it. Okay, one for Wombat. Okay, maybe I need to move the fox one over a little bit. We'll put Wombat over here. Or how about we do Wombat over here? and fox over here and then whoops <laughs> okay so then we'll have red fox the range will be this for the red fox and we'll hide it down whoa all right hide it in the bush good good and then we'll go ahead and turn this on for our little fox kits we know so little about them but as we learn more We'll be able to educate people more about them. And then we can teach people about wombats. Excellent, excellent. And of course they will have to go ahead and donate more. Also, is our wombat pregnant? Linda is not pregnant right now, but maybe that's because she needs some enrichment. And I do not see any piles of wombat poop yet. I'm keeping my eyes out in case it's square. Uh, all right, so we have finished up some research about the foxes and I need to see that flying fox baby. Or excuse me, yeah, the flying fruit bat. There we go. All right, Linda, do you need... If she's eaten guest food, does that mean I need to take her to the vet? Because that means I need a vet surgery, and they're kind of expensive, but I could do my best. All right. Also, our foxes have been asking for more space. I think I could go ahead and maybe expand some of their barricade a little bit back here. So that they can kind of like sneak back in this area and also have access to the lake. So I'll raise that up some. Then, whoops, yeah, up some. Then just you go down. There we go. And I think that leaves a bit of a gap unless I do that. Nope, I didn't. Nope, 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 nope. Huzzah! 
Yeah, all right. So that closes the gap. I mean, the foxes would absolutely wiggle through the gap if I wasn't careful. Uh, yay! Oh my gosh! That research is already done? <gasps> Plague Dr. Renee! You're like on it! And there we go! Another little bit for the foxes at the back. Hopefully strong enough to be able to keep them in. And maybe that will let us give them a little bit more space to be able to play. Because I think that some of the fox gloves are kind of like crowding the sections where they could play. All right, so we'll move that over here. And let's see if we can find something fun for our little fox cubs to play with. Look at everybody. Yeah, that food does look kind of disgusting just on the ground like that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, little foxes. Give me just a bit. And we can also remove this water bowl because now they have access to the actual lake. Even though it looks kind of funky, I think they're going to be okay. Um, and we can put down a little food bowl for them. I think we'll do that because I'm... I think the food bowl will look a little bit less gross. <laughs> uh, and maybe we could even hide the food bowl. Ooh, I like that idea. What if we hide the food bowl under some of these creepers? And then, or like, at least like so. Also, did you hear the cute little sounds the fox cubs were making? <gasps> oh, they're so precious. Oh, I can't wait to spend more time with them. Hello, little one. Oh, I kind of wish I had named one Foxglove because that just sounds like such a cute name. Hi. Hi. Do you want to go ahead and like play with all sorts of things? Oh, you guys, this is so cute. So she's very bored. So Pink the Red Fox, I think she's feeling a little bit better. Space is a teensy bit better now. Um, and let's see if we have unlocked anything new species. Oh, I better make sure that food bowl can be used for the red fox, actually. Mm, red fox. See, it cannot. Haha! -ha! I knew it seemed kind of suspicious to me. But I can put in this food tray. There we go. And now the, the gory chunks of meat will be tucked at the back. Uh, and... Oh, speaking of gory chunks of meat! <laughs> <laughs> there are indeed some scent markers that we could put down for enrichment and play. I mean, why not? Like, that's actually kind of awesome. Just a little bloody scent marker. Uh, and then where are our little cubs? And, and oh, and there's the dog ball. It was actually right next to it. Okay, so we'll put that in. Oh, I can hear them! Oh, that's so fun, you guys! Okay, and then we can also put in the tennis ball, which is freaking adorable. I am a thousand percent here for enjoying a cute little tennis ball. I'm gonna make it look like a tiny pumpkin or an acorn. <laughs> can I name it acorn? Um, very large acorn. There we go, a very large acorn. And I'll see if I can actually put down some more of this autumnal leaf litter to kind of hide it just a bit. Ooh, and now we have even more like offspring for the fruit bats. Are we up in the, okay, we're up in the bat box. Let me see, she's had her first baby. That's very, very exciting. Social, uh, current mates. Hello, ma'am. When, when we have fruit bat babies, do we get tiny fruit bats or do we just get like additional big fruit bats? Hi guys! Man, trying to figure out how I'm going to look at these guys can be a little tricky. Also, I need to figure out how I can get people to donate for this exhibit because having zero dollars is not very cool for an entire flying fruit bat area. Like, give me a little more credit, people. Give them a little more credit. Uh, let's see, animals. And then the youngest one would be like this one. Young adult, do you look different than the others, my dear? Can I see? I think the young adults 
look about the same as the adults. That would make some sense to me. In fact, that would make a lot of sense to me. Considering with the fruit bats, I think what I learned is that they're weaned after, or excuse me, they're ready to be separate from their mom uh, and left to kind of hang out and literally, <laughs> literally hang out in their caves after two weeks, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then I think it's after like about six weeks or so, they're completely weaned and they are ready to live on their own, eating a bunch of fruit because it really is hard if you're going to be a mama fruit bat and you have to have your baby hold on to you for oh little yawn i love their yawn so much but it's hard if you're going to be a mama fruit bat and you're going to have your baby like cling to you because you have to go fly and get some fruit and speaking of fruit i just remembered oh one of the things that i want to do is we have a really cool blueprint we made let's see Oh man, where's my apple tree? Okay, I have an apple tree that we made uh, once upon a time that had like a vending machine with a drinks hiding inside of it. And I wanted to put a bunch of apple trees and a bunch of other fruit trees and like fruit stands and things next to our fruit bats. Cause I think that would be quite awesome. Also, I think because Linda has eaten guest food, we actually need to get her some sort of like special care. So we need to raise funds and raise money to be able to go ahead and uh, get get like the vet office built and also to add in more animals. Oh yes. Oh my gosh, I can't believe Oh Chonk <laughs> Chonk, the Egyptian fruit bat, has just had some babies with Dommel apparently. Uh Dommel has two different mates. That actually leads to interesting questions about the let's see. Yeah, males yeah, I guess it, they don't they're promiscuous so they have a promiscuous mating system as compared to our red fox which are monogamous and they're pretty shy about humans and then red foxes live in familiar packs familial packs consisting of a mature mated pair and one or two generations of offspring who do not reproduce while in the pack they are usually monogamous once they have bonded with a partner to establish their own pack the vixen uh, approaches ostrich in spring and the pair will meet multiple times during her fertile period she will give birth to four to six kits on average after a pregnancy of 49 to 58 days the litters of up to 15 kits have been reported pardon <laughs> that is too many that is far too many um oh my goodness also what facility is having an oh my gosh all right yes i understand and everybody wants to come and see the baby fruit bats or excuse me the baby bat the baby foxes we've got a lot of babies and many of them are foxy at the moment or fruity as it might be so let's do that all right we'll have to work with the transformer in a little bit too look at all of them okay people please keep the donations coming keep them coming we need to like entertain these folks and we need to give them more to look at my friends oh look at that cool house that's all just destroyed by a giant tree i'm a thousand percent here for that kind of aesthetic oh maybe we could put a restroom in here because you really need to worry about tending to the guest bladders like i have not forgotten that in fact let's go ahead and do that right now before i forget <laughs> Oh, and that's just such a throwback to some of our very first Zoo Tycoon 2 episodes of, like, don't forget about your guest bladders. Alright, let's see. And then that. Good. Back a little more. And then exit. Oh, you guys, that is so cool. <laughs> you can walk through the doors if you need to go ahead and face your fears will you be able to go ahead and uh not be terrified of the dracula so that you can get to the restroom oh my gosh people really really needed to go to the rest restroom also equestrian what the heck our foxes are already maturing <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I think we're about to have many, many, many fox cubs. Because if they have already grown up, live! Like, what the heck? Let me get at least one adorable moment with you two as the tiny adorable babies that you are before you're going to go ahead and just, like, grow up on us. You guys, they're already done! 
They're ready to be big grown-up foxes and possibly help take care of another sibling set already. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, well, there you go, my friends. Things are definitely getting quite busy and also quite dark again. I'm so glad. Thank you for reminding me how to turn this on. People definitely needed to use the restrooms. Uh, and our wombat has eaten something that disagrees with her. And we need to raise some funds for the vet. So let's figure out how to start really pulling in that money because we really, really, really need to next time. And if you guys could, do please leave a like for all of our precious foxes. Look at how cute they are. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.